Hey gang, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm here in Cannes, France, and I've got Julian here from the House of Initio. And we're going to talk about the brand with you and introduce some of the fragrances and the latest fragrance here, Atomic Rose. So if you want to find out about this house, please stay tuned. Thank you for doing the video with me. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. How are you involved with Initio? So I'm Julian. I'm the international sales director for the brand. Okay. Uh, the brand is now uh, entering its fifth year. So it's a very young brand. We have a collection of five fragrances and each take a different direction, which is really interesting today in a perfumery, I find. So the, the, the brand you said started five years ago? Yeah, four, we're starting off fifth year, so four years. Okay. So very young brand. Initio means the origin in initiation. Okay. So the idea at the starting point of the brand was to really go deep into the tradition of perfumery, uh, to try to bring some uh, some uh, creations uh, which are, have a really unique signature. Interesting. So what was the, one of the first fragrances from the brand? So here we have, okay, we took some samples from each collection, okay? Okay. But here, if you look at this bottle with the red logo here, this is called the Absolutes. Absolutes. And the idea here was the power of the nature. Okay. The right dosage, the raw ingredients, the quality of the material uh, to, re to blend into very, very unique scents. Okay. I'm not saying that because I went for the brand, but there's nothing <laughs> out there that comes close. Cool. Uh, Can we smell it? Yes, with pleasure. So we're going to smell this one, which is called Blessed Baraka. Blessed Baraka. The Baraka in Arabic means blessed. Blessed. And in French, when you say j'ai la baraka, it means that you're going through a moment in your life where everything is perfect. Interesting. So blessed Baraka. Nice. Is this your favorite? It's, you know, I love them all. Okay. Different moment of the year. The seas, different season, different moment of the day. This one I like it because it's very elegant, very deep, very rich. I would wear this in a business meeting or going out even for a dinner, you know, uh, dressed in black, let's say. Uh, it's spicy, it's got musk, it's got vanilla. Sexy. It's super, super deep, super sexy. Mm. Uh, so yeah, more of a masculine fragrance. Yeah, what are the notes? So you have musk, vanilla, you have white flowers. There's a white flower accord on the top. So wow. it's really interesting. It's gorgeous. Bless Baraka. Yeah. Nice. So what do we have next? So this collection has five fragrances okay. that we invite you to discover because they all go in different directions. Then we involved science because, okay, the tradition, the ingredients, natural ingredients, this is very interesting. It's the tradition of perfumery, but also we believe in the future. Mm. So the creator of the brand started looking into the science, the studies, uh, and we came back to also something which is extremely interesting, where we involved the pheromones. Okay. If you know, traditionally in perfumery, we used to use the amber gray, mm -hmm. the natural amber gray as a pillow, yeah. as a fixative for perfume, and we used to use the musk also as a pillow and a fixative for perfume. Okay. It would allow to blend the ingredients on top and also it would give this animalic scent, mm. which is known to be aphrodisiac. Yeah. So here Makes we sense. worked with a laboratory and we reproduced the exact identical molecules as the natural amber gray, because it's very rare today, and the musk, which is of course the animal, the deer, which is protected. So would you say this is so synthetic? So here we get, I'm sorry? Would you say this is synthetic? It is, it is. But it's it's got a technology called the natural print, mm. which reproduces exactly the same molecule. Okay. So here we have one called number seven. We call it number seven, but it's a musk. So here we go. And this one, it's a perfume, but it's not a perfume. It's a pheromone amplifier. So you're going to wear this on your skin, it's going to interact with your own pheromones, mm. and it's going to amplify. So the idea of this is to wear it alone. It's cool, huh? Yeah. And also what I do is I wear it, I let it warm up, and I'm going to blend my perfume on top. Oh, so, so it's layering. Become, yeah, because it's a mask. I mean, since it's used as a pillow in perfume, you can use it as a pillow like. in today's perfumery. Yeah, I like. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is called what now? This collection is the Magnetic Blends. Magnetic Blends. Okay. Cool. And this is number seven you said? Number seven. Okay. The Amber Grey is super animalic. I invite you to try it. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the exact reproduction of an Amber Grey. Mm. Uh, and it's really animalic. It's beastie. Oh. But when you blend it with other fragrances, like fruity floral fragrances, it gives a kick, it gives a dimension to the fragrance. Oh wow. So I like that too. This is nice. I want fun, one. <laughs> this you wear it alone. Yeah. And then the next time, once you've lived it and you've seen how it evolves, because it lasts for hours. Wow. Hours and hours. Then try it with one of your favorite perfume, because you can blend musk with any, pretty much anything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, and I love musk. 
Yeah. Very, very nice. Cool. I didn't Move. know about this one. Yeah, nice, huh? Yeah, 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 no, it's cool. So moving on, because what you have to understand also around Initio, we're not a brand where uh, we uh, smell, we wear perfume like uh, to trigger emotions linked to your childhood or a trip you travel to or the food you eat or even to feel comforted. Mm -hmm. No, no, we wear perfume to feel sexy. Of okay, course, <laughs> it's all about yeah. So we are, we agree, huh? We all it's all about attraction. Yeah, and that's how you can see how powerful the brand is. Okay, so then we have this purple collection that you can see here. Yeah. And here it's a collection of four fragrances. We're actually here in Cannes launching the fourth creation. And here we worked with some scientists based on a study. It was a very serious study that was made on the molecule of hedione. So hedione is a soft floral molecule. Uh, I think it was invented in 1962. And it quickly became successful because it just gives this magical touch to a creation. I hear a lot about hedione. Okay, but the study we based ourselves on it showed, it showed sorry, that in an overdose of Edeon, it created, it triggered a part of the brain mm. linked to pleasure, which would automatically generate attraction. Wow. So the concept behind this collection was to overdose each of the fragrances with 50% of Hedion. Okay. So let's smell this one. This one is called Side Effects. It's one of our best sellers. Ooh, I like Side Effects. You like, oh, you know it already, yeah? <laughs> No, I said I just like side Oh, you like the name? Okay, <laughs> this is something. No, I know, I know about this fragrance, it's popular. Totally unisex, you have rum, okay, you have cinnamon, and it's just warm and gourmand and very, yeah. very chic. Uh, very I love ambery. This. Yes, amber, yeah. There's tobacco, saffron, dry amber, sandalwood. Mm. Super creation, and this really, like, it's, it, it, it is a very successful fragrance for us. Wow, yeah. This one came out when? This one was part of the first launch of the collection. So when we launched the Carnal, ben, Carnal Blends, it's called, we launched Side Effect and High Frequency together. Mm -hmm. Then there was a third one called Psychedelic Love. And today we are here to introduce you Atomic Rose. Oh, I love this one. I've already sampled it. So this one has also the 50% Hedion. But yet, with the other ingredients that we blend it with, it comes out totally differently. Wow. Very interesting. This one is a heart of natural Bulgarian rose, natural Turkish rose, natural jasmine from Egypt. Mm. Masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. You know, I'll tell you a key word when you smell this one. Champagne rosé. Mm -hmm. Champagne Very rose. sparkly. It's festive, Very it's sparkly. sparkling, it projects, it comes out. Perfect for this warm weather. Yeah, exactly. Nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the green stuff in there? I smell like green twigs and green leaves and... Good question. Uh, you know, we, did, we use so many ingredients. I can tell you the main ones, but they have 30, 30 plus ingredients, these wow, fragrances. Wow, wow. So, uh, I know that the main is the pink pepper on the top. Okay, you have the natural roses in the heart, as I mentioned. You have the jasmine and there's a base on the uh, vanilla. Wow, that yeah. is lovely. Yeah. Would you say this is more feminine? I would, I, today, you know, it's difficult to say, mm -hmm. especially in artistic perfumery. We don't want to go say, this is for men, this is for women. It's art. Yeah. So, I mean, it's free, it's to, up to your own taste. Yeah. To be honest, if you like it, wear it. I wear it. Yeah. And you I know, wear I wear it. different perfumes on different parts of the body. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a powerful perfume here and more subtle on my hands or on my wrists so that, you know, so you're wearing multiple different fragrances? Your sillage is influenced by different uh, directions, you know? That's nice. I will try that. But that's only because I'm in the industry and I'm just like, I can <laughs> spray everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. So after all this sexiness and uh, attraction, okay, we worked on a project which was all around hedonism, to purify, to put pleasure first. Mm. And we created this fragrance which is called Rehab. Like for rehabilitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the project behind this was to source all natural ingredients. This is a masterpiece. The cost of production of this is sky high really? because it's natural ingredients. So you have natural bergamot, you have natural lavender, natural cedar wood, natural sandalwood. I love this one. I have it. Ah, you have I have it? a review on the channel, guys, if you want to watch it. Pure, purity. And so elegant. I love this one. It's very trendy. This, for this weather, you see. It's perfect. Wow. You're wearing linen, you're going out for a dinner, it's hot, you're gonna you're gonna wear this rehab. It's nice. Wow. Interesting, it's huh? It's really nice. Thank you. No no I have a review of this guys. If you wanna watch it, check it out. I gave it high marks. 
And then we are left with the, the, I, the I big one. We kept the best for the end, you know. For the last, okay. <laughs> now you can see the bottle already. It's imposing itself uh, with the protective eye. It's got a sigil, a sigil, a sigil. Sorry, sigil. Sigil. Yeah. Sigil. A sigil. Sorry. Sigil is this geometry, okay? It's a sacred sign that represents the tree of life. It's said to be found absolutely everywhere in nature. And when it's found, it brings abundance and wealth and prosperity, okay? So what we did is we took this geometrical sign, we redesigned it to our taste, and we wrapped the bottle around it. Okay. This project is called the Black Gold Project. The Black Gold is what? It's the wood. Yeah. It's the wood, the ancestral wood. We're going back to the roots of perfume. Perfume means perfuming from the smoke. Yeah. So before we were spraying perfume, we were burning woods with ingredients on them, and we were waving our clothes yeah. and perfuming ourselves through the smoke. Today, the oud is so popular, so, so popular. Uh, it's used around the world, in Asia, in India, they use it in the Middle East. It's said to promote mental health, it's said to have spiritual virtues. So, it took us time to pay tribute to this very noble material. Mm -hmm. And we found one of the finest natural oud oils, actually we found it in India. And the project was to have a heart only of oud, but a subtle oud. And you have a top note of lavender, you have nutmeg and saffron. Lots of saffron with this one. The saffron spice. Yeah. And what's interesting is that it's got this base of musk and patchouli. And the heart, you see it's subtle. And actually, it's the first wood that I started to really wear on a regular basis. So we've conquered Western customers, which are opening up to wood. Yeah. And Middle Eastern, Arabic, traditional, oriental customers, which want to ease out of the heavy wood but they want something trendy, something that still corresponds to their tastes, and this has been a, 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 a big addition to the collection, I must say. Yeah, I hear this is your most popular. It's one of the most popular, yeah. yeah. I mean, and also we follow seasonalities, you know? We have fragrances for different moments of the year, different moods, and we're starting to federate the base of people which just want them all. Yeah. Forget it, they want them all because they send you all in a different direction. That's nice. Very artistic, very elegant, and very attractive. I love attractive. it, I love this one. I've reviewed it and I have featured it in multiple videos on my channel. Okay. Yeah. So, besides uh, Atomic Rose, what's coming up in the future? Is this launched now, Atomic Rose? This one is launching now. Today. We are delivering the customers now. In Cannes, we revealed it already to them uh, a while back mm. so that they get their stocks and we're delivering and launching now as we are presenting it again in Cannes. Okay. And then you will have another addition to the white collection. Okay. Which will be, I don't know if I can reveal the name, but it will be Musk Therapy. So that's going to be... So really you just revealed the name? Oh yeah. <laughs> just because, just for you, eh? I think okay. I'll be the, you'll be the only one... Can I'll we say smell it too? too? We can't smell it, no. Sorry, sir. <laughs> That no, and then we're gonna we're working on a, another oud. Oh wow! So it'll there'll be a trilogy in the oud collection. Okay. So you you can expect two to come. Awesome. Which is gonna be exciting. And I also hear that you guys are opening stores in. Uh, I mean, not opening stores, but you're in uh, terms launching of our, in Neiman's. Yeah, in yeah. The, we're exclusive to Neiman's, and uh, it's. I just came back from the U.S. and we did the training and the presentation. We'll be coming back uh, most probably in November. Okay. For the official launch. And it's going to be something in the US because I got the feel, the feedback I got. I'm very confident that it's going to be it's a big be success big? there too. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When, when do you think it'll open uh, or launch in Neiman San They Francisco? are delivering now. Uh, Neiman San Francisco, that we're going to wait a bit. You're going to wait a bit, okay. All right. Anything else you want to mention? No, thank you very much. Do you have any other questions? No, uh, What's I'm your excited. Overall in, in, no, I'm no. going to ask you a question. Uh, okay. you What's your what? overall impression? I really love. Okay. Like I said, when I first uh, sampled these fragrances in Lisbon, mm. I really loved them and I felt like a connection to them because I had already uh, experienced the quality of these kind of fragrances yes. and so I really loved uh, some of the fragrances, like Blessed Baraka I smelled, but I, like I said, I reviewed the Rehab and the Oud for Greatness yep. and I'm obsessed with the smell, the way this smells, this is really lovely. I love that sparkly effervescent rose in here, yes. but there's like lots of green touches in there that I don't know where that's coming from. It's, it's fabulous. Yeah. I'm happy to see that you see you've identified and you're hopping from one collection to another because they are all going in different collections. Yeah, and this, this is amazing. So you have... I love the way this the, smells. The power of the nature, the science of the pheromones, mm -hmm. okay, the natural product, the wood, the tribute to the wood, and the science with the hedial molecule. Wow. And I find that super cool. 
And you I have more hedion? There's two other creations in this collection. And you said it's 50% All hedion. All of them are 50% hedion. Wow. But yet they're very different. And hedion, it comes from the molecule, it's a contraction of magnolia and jasmine. Just to say it again in case people uh, didn't know where the hedion molecule was coming came from. I thought that they had used hedion for the first time in Eau Sauvage. Exactly. Yeah? Eau Sauvage from Java, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Correct. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you. Sebastian. Yeah. Nice Appreciate it. You. Yeah. Take care. Guys, uh, thanks so much for watching this video with uh, Julian of Initio Parfums. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.